My name is Wim Ooyen. I'm the Congress Chair for the ENM 2014 Annual Congress in Gothenburg, uh, Sweden. And on behalf of the whole ENM board, I'd like to welcome you to the meeting and I all invite you to attend. We worked with all of the ENM committees to put an attractive program together for you with scientific sessions, but also CME sessions. Uh, multidisciplinary symposia and especially this year we have uh, two uh, featured tracks. One is uh, called ISTART, the dealing with uh, physics, the symmetry, and one is called the biology track and this basically uh, should attract uh, basic scientists but also clinicians. Like every year, the ENM committees put in a lot of effort to put together the program for this ENM meeting in Gothenburg. And my colleagues from the various committees will now tell you what they have in store for you. Francesco, can you tell us please what the Oncology Committee has put together for us in 2014? Thank you, Wim. The Oncology Committee of the ENM is deeply involved in the next European Association of Nuclear Medicine Congress in Gothenburg. Uh, in particular, we start with a pre-Congress symposium on radio-guided surgery with surgeon and nuclear medicine. Uh, for instance, we will speak about uh, sentinel lymph node. Uh, we will have also some CME. In particular, one is dedicated to pediatric oncology, another on diagnostic CT in oncology. We will have also a um, joint symposium with the ESTRO with always PET CT in the definition of the field of uh, radiation oncology. But we will have not to forget last a very important uh, appointment that we have, that is the interest group that this year will be take place in Gothenburg and I hope that uh, many people will join our, our group for this. So, see you in Gothenburg, thank you very much. That sounds really interesting. Now, let me tell you something about our work. The Physics Committee will co-organize a pre-symposium on preclinical imaging. We will also organize CME session on detectors and imaging systems. And together with the Pediatric Committee, we will also co-organize a CME session on PET MRI. The featured session for the Physics Committee will be on standardization of PET imaging. We will also organize sessions on image reconstruction and quantification and instrumentation. Thomas, I know you are a member of the Radio Pharmacy Committee. Could you tell us something about your work? Well, Cecilia, there is really a lot to say about that. Uh, however, I try to keep it short for you. The Radio Pharmacy Committee is involved in the organization of three CME sessions related to the production or preclinical and clinical use of radio pharmaceuticals. The first session, CME 11, uh, deals with regulatory aspects for the manufacturing of radio pharmaceuticals. The second session, CME 13, uh, will give an overview on new radionuclides as well as radio pharmaceuticals for PET imaging and their translation into the clinic. The third session, CME 14, focus on alpha-emitting radionuclides and their use in targeted therapy. So this is a very interesting CME program for the ENM Congress in Gothenburg, uh, which will help uh, professionals in the field to stay up to date with recent developments. This year, for the first time, we've uh, put together a track called the Biology Track that basically addresses issues around basic research and translational research in nuclear medicine and Professor Marion de Jong is uh, chairing that track and uh, she will be explaining a little bit about what the biology track will actually deliver during this meeting. Marion, please. So thank you very much, Wim, for the introduction. It's my pleasure to talk about this uh, new track, the biology track. But first, let me explain that biology track is in fact only the working name because it's nice and short, but it's much more than just biology because this track involves all the disciplines combined that work in basic and translational research. So that's all the research performed to make new compounds, to design them, to label them, 
to evaluate them in the preclinic and to bring them to the clinic. And that's why the official name is From Molecule to Man. The biology track is not just a separate or standalone track, it's a collaboration between many committees, in fact, and we co-organized, the Translational Molecular Imaging Committee co-organized the track with the Radio Pharmacy Committee and the Drug Development Committee. And this year we also have, uh, again, I start track, an international collaboration on physics and dosimetry, and Dr. Mark Konijnenburg will explain what the I start track will entail in this year's Congress and uh, what it brings to you, making it very worthwhile to attend it. Mark, please. Yes, of course, Wim. I would like to uh, explain to you what uh, iStart is about. It's about radionuclide dosimetry, so quantification, then calculating the radionuclide uh, doses, and from that having an idea on the consequences of the doses, so the radiobiology. And at first these uh, symposia were organized to really do the first part, so the quantification and the calculation of, of doses, and now we see that's more and more uh, going to radiobiology and biology to really target uh, diseases of what we would like to treat or diagnose. Nuclear medicine is a very multidisciplinary speciality not only within itself, a collaboration of physicists, chemists, pharmacists and technicians and doctors, but also in its vision towards other medical specialties and other societies in Europe and outside Europe. And this year we have a high number of joint symposia with a wide variety of international societies who will be visited, visiting us and will be uh, organizing uh, a symposium during the uh, Congress. And in total, we now have 14 uh, symposia uh, organized by ENM committees as well as their counterparts in other clinical and non clinical societies to uh, provide you the latest insights on what's happening in the respective fields of medicine and the role that nuclear medicine can play there. The ENM board is very happy that this year more than 100 exhibitors will be present during the ENM meeting and complement the scientific program with the latest developments in industry. On behalf of everyone who participated in putting together the program for the annual ENM meeting in Gothenburg, I thank you for your attention and I hope to welcome you in Gothenburg at the meeting. Thank you.